What should kind of a buyer know about getting ready to sign that contract that we need where we should start? Yeah, well, you know, after it's a contract, both the buyer and the seller has agreed to a date that they have to move. And this is about contract to close. And what we want is we want a smooth contract to close right, period. Right. We want a closing. And the difference between a contract that ends up terminating mm -hmm. and never getting to a closing mm -hmm. and one that closes with happy buyers and sellers right. at the closing table, which we'll right. talk about later, is experience. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a smooth closing, it's really important that you have an experienced realtor representing you and that you have an experienced lender. And sometimes people get confused. They think, well, the lending institute's been in business for 30 years and this real estate company's been right. around 30 years, but the realtor or the mortgage uh, loan originator, how long have they been in the business? And, right. the, and, and when you look at the national averages, a realtor has, has a license for a year, is average sells like four houses a year. Right. That's a, not very much experience compared to somebody that sells 400, right. Right? right? Or if they've been in the business for a couple of years, maybe they move their business and career up to maybe 10 houses a year. Right. That's different experience level than 10,000 houses in your career. And so a lot of times people will purchase a home or hire a realtor to list their home that doesn't have experience. And that's when problems really start happening. You know, where closing dates are missed or contracts get terminated because people don't know how to work through from contract to close. Mm 